everyone. So I am starting this episode in my pickup because I'm on my way to a spot that I've always wanted to go for a while and I've dived there before in areas and it goes from like zero meters to 50 meters in no time. I will not be diving to 50 meters. But there's a couple marks I want to try. There's a wreck on the map which I want to go and find. Um, it's in the shallower areas. Um, I've also brought fishing rod along because I have caught some decent fish off here on rod and line so I'm just going to give that a go and pretty much just take it as it comes but I'm looking forward to getting into the water up there and seeing what it's like. Hopefully some good biz. So I'm all suited and booted. Um, good signs already. Uh, when you know the Turks are here or Arctic Terns, I don't know if you can see them flying above me. Like that. It usually means they're chasing the sand eels and everything like that. And I also have a puffin in front of me, which you might not be able to see. That's when you know the seas are starting to liven up. So I'm going to get straight out there and get into it. Um, it's a bit murky in the harbour here, but we're going to push out and hopefully find some good viz. It's five to ten meters. Uh, I don't know if I can see the bottom yet, but I guess there's only one one way to find out, and that's to get in. So I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. So let's jump in and see what we can find. I do have the spear gun as well, um, and I've got a fancy new torch, which I'm gonna break out, which is gonna be pretty fun. I won't bore you with endless footage of kelp, but I ended up not finding the wreck. And I done a fair amount of diving. I even done some deeper stuff down onto the seabed where it does level out. Maybe coming back here on a day where there's some clear viz, it might be an option. Or just do a bit more research. I only seen that this was on the charts and I thought it was well worth a dive. But with no wreck there, I thought I'm gonna go back to the boat and crack out the new torch. I've just been sent a brand new torch from the Orca Torch team. Now, I absolutely love the first one that they sent me, but this one is the next level. You can zoom in and out with the lens, you can make it bigger and wider. It's pretty cool, it packs a punch. This is the D710Z, and I can't wait to get it in the water. This is the first time, so let's go see what it's made of and see what we can find. Now, the only time I ever used to use torches was looking in holes for fish or lobsters. But ever since getting these new torches, I've been playing about just using it on all the bits of kelp and sponges and everything. And one thing it does is it brings everything to life. It really brings the colors out and I absolutely love it.
With no wreck found and a bit of fun had with the torch, it was time to get my hunting head on and go search for some fish. I moved off to some outer islands which I knew would be pretty good and that there would be a chance of some pretty gnarly tide coming through. And I was right. Where I was, there's around three knots of tide coming through here and you can see in the kelp there's a bit of movement down here. So I had to take my time and have good breathe ups and just think about everything because it's not too easy diving in tide. Eventually though, after a couple dives, I started seeing some signs of life. Now, every time I got down, I made my way into the kelp and I held on tightly because I was getting pushed about a bit. But I seen my first little fish and I couldn't help but have a crack at it. Turns out, it was a lot further away than I thought. Here you can see me, once I have pulled the trigger, I make my way at an angle and I'm actually heading back towards my boat. So I'm out of the tidal area and I'm in a safe place close to the boat because you've exerted all your energy and if you need to rest up, you're better off coming out of the tide. Breathing up in the little eddies, not using any energy, I have a nice rest and I get, have a good breather. I slowly then make my way out into the tidal zone and do my dive. I head as quick as I can down into the kelp because I don't want to be mid-water too long because it will push you about. Once in the kelp, I get tucked right in and to be honest, I hold on. Now it's always typical when I film myself this way, I end up seeing a fish. So I ditch the camera and I get my hands back on the gun and I stalk my way along the kelp. I've got a fair bit of ground to make up before I get to this fish. Once I get in line, I pull the trigger and I shoot below the fish. I rushed, I should have taken my time and just got a little bit closer. When I'm diving locations like this, especially when I'm myself, I take every precaution and I always rest up in the shallows like I have here and I've started making my way out into the tidal zone, doing a last couple looks just to make sure that I'm in the right place and I just have my bearings and then I start making my way down into the kelp. Now you might hear me start grunting halfway down, that's because I seen a monster pollock. It had a big girthy belly on it and the tail was massive and I didn't know what to do whether I chase it or I just get down into the kelp and stalk it. Unfortunately you can't see it on the camera and I have been over the footage countless times. I opted for getting into the kelp and trying to stalk it but there was no luck and I could not find it. Well, I've seen a monster, an absolute beast of a fish, but I couldn't get into him and I've been diving for about an hour <laughs> trying to find uh, not the same fish but any sort of fish the same size. There was a couple of little ones I could have maybe shot, I did miss one. Um, this might haunt me tonight. Anyway, my hands are getting cold. I can barely reload or use a gun at the minute. So I'm coming up to warm up. Um, but I've been diving a lot, trying to get these fish. Um, so I'm thinking I might put the rod together and have a fish just on the deeper parts. Because um, if I'm seeing Pollock here, there should be fish somewhere else. I might even get stuck into a ling or something or a cod. Um, I'm really chuffed that I tried this tidal spot because I know the fish will like the tide. Uh, I can't dive it to my max because, well, it's just me out here and I can't push it and diving in that tide is exhausting. Uh, 
Uh, so I'm gonna go do a bit of run line fishing. For reference, it is only the 1st of June up here. So we're only just getting started on our fishing season. The boats aren't out hammering the mackerel yet. So even the mackerel aren't even in full swing up here. But it, there is a lot more life compared to last month. Um, and seeing fish like that, it just affirms that they're coming in. And I will be haunted tonight in my sleep. Because that was a beast that I seen. Right, let's get the rod together. One thing I've learned is quite often it's very easy to lose your diving head or you're just you're not in the rhythm anymore and that could be after a lot of diving it could be after not so much diving so and that's why I am carrying my fishing rod a lot more I enjoy it just as much um, maybe not as much as shooting a big fish but I love it I get calmed down and it's good just to give your body a break whilst having fun and it just gets you back in the mood because once you've seen a fish you're ready to go hunt them again so maybe you get tired of diving a lot but just don't want to sit on the boat take your fishing rod have a few casts enjoy yourself and before you know it you'll be back ready to go diving well i've not caught my big monster ling or cod but i've caught a nice couple of pollock uh the one i've seen spear fishing was like three times the size of that so I'm not sure what to do really, it's getting on a bit, I should probably head in but I might stop off for one dive spot just before I head in. So I'm going to get suited, well I've already suited, I'm going to go, uh, I think I'm going to explore one island and just jump in even if it's for 10-15 minutes and have a look and see what's about uh, and then start heading in. By the time I got back to the island and the same spot, the tide had really calmed down. So I managed to dive some of the deeper areas and get right into that kelp. And I did see a few fish just chilling out in the lower crevices in amongst the kelp. But not gonna lie, once I had that fish in my mind, I needed to see something the same size as that. Um, and unfortunately I didn't, but that means they're here. Time was getting on and the wind was picking up ever so slightly so it was time to pull myself out of the water and hop on the boat. It's been a pretty mega day's dive in and seeing some fish like that is just adding fuel to the fire. fish uh, in a couple months anyway it's been absolutely epic uh, i'm so pumped up that i got out and i hope that you guys enjoyed enjoyed it as much as me um like i say it's just warming up here in shetland warming up up here in shetland um so it should be a good season so stay tuned because there's going to be a lot more to come